Okay, it's taken about 20 minutes to chop up all the onion. In case you're wondering, that's what six pounds of chopped onion looks like. Uh, as you can see, I have not cleaned up from the chopping operation. It's time you were exposed to the awful truth of this process. Uh, I'm now going to fry these onions. I should mention that I've got six pounds of onion, and the way this is divided up is that each of the three fillings gets about two pounds of, of onion in it. A little bit of variation when I start mixing it together, but typically that's what we do, and that's why I'm, I'm doing one operation all, uh, one whole operation, onion cutting all by itself. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to put these in a fry pan. I'm going to use some butter, uh, and I'm going to use some oil, a combination of the two. Traditionally, people like to fry the onion in butter. Uh, I'm getting older, we're getting older, so we've kind of compromised and we still want a little bit of that butter flavor in there but we're also going to mix in some olive oil to avoid uh, some of the problems with butter. So here we are at Old Faithful. I'm going to use two frying pans. Just so much so much onion that uh, it'll go a lot quicker. It's almost impossible to fry it in one pan. So I'm going to add uh, olive oil to each of these. I may have to adjust this uh, as time goes on. With fine onions particularly, it picks up a lot of oil. And then we'll add some butter to this. And I'm just, I don't know, a couple tablespoons. It's kind of like hit and miss. I'll pro I may adjust as time goes on. Turn these on. Let those heat up. You can see the potatoes in the background there. Uh, they're not ready yet. They're still cooking. Simmering. Probably take 40 45 minutes on the potatoes. Okay, I think I'll throw the onions in now. Well, most of them are going to go in the pan. There's a lot of moisture in these, so this is going to take quite a while to cook down. Uh, I can estimate maybe a half hour to, to get past this stage. Okay, now let's pick up some of the stuff I missed. I'll get that in a minute. So now the cooking starts. Okay, you can see that the uh, onions are beginning to brown up a little bit. Particularly when they start drying out, you got to keep an eye on them or else you'll burn them. I dropped the heat also. I also added uh, outside of the camera I a little bit more butter and oil to these. I didn't feel that it was uh, enough to manage what I was doing. So it, they're starting to cook properly. The liquid is for the most part boiled off. Okay, in the back here we uh, fork test the potatoes. They are basically done. And so we're going to turn those off. And it's been about uh, you know, more than 45 minutes on the potatoes. So we're going to let those, we're going to drain those and then put those back in the pot so we can mix it later with the onion and the garlic. As you can see, I try and keep most of the onion in the pot, but I don't always succeed. Looking for a nice golden brown on these onions. Uh, as you hopefully can see, it, it certainly is getting there. It's taking a while. They've been cooking oh, about 15 minutes already. You can see that they're starting to get done. Uh, particularly the left pan seems to be running faster than the right. But uh, I definitely need to keep an eye on these. Easy to burn these onions now if I'm not careful. Okay, now the onions all fried up. Uh, 
can see it's quite condensed from that large bowl of onion we had. This is ready to go. Now I'm going to transfer this to a flat bowl. Um, I'll show you why in a, in a bit.